Making spin top string by me. In this video I'll make some string for your average size top like a Duncan Imperial. That's a Cometa there and a Blizzard. Um, that's sewing thread, polyester, and then size 10 crochet thread. The yellow is cotton. The white is bamboo. You'll need a drill or something that spins. That's an eye bolt in the end. You could use a hanger bent up or something. That's a chain link and then a bearing swivel and a key ring. You could use a normal swivel but it doesn't work quite as well. So I've got a hook down low and a hook up high. They're about 75 inches apart. That's plenty of room for the 60 inch string we're trying to make. But after you let the twist go, it shrinks quite a bit. And when you're making a thicker string, it's, it uh, shrinks even more. So just give yourself some room. So to make every third wrap in the string a different color, uh, you just make one third of it that different color. Uh, so that's the 75 inches plus about 16 for the shrinkage. Uh, just trial and error there. The whole string is here before you twist it is uh, about 23 and a half feet long. It shrinks about four feet. And after we twist it down four feet, we're gonna fold it into thirds. So basically the white string is two times as long as the yellow string. Now you could do this a whole lot easier, just do one color. So for a rip cord, I would do three size 10 strings. But then for a, uh, your basic size like we're doing here, I'd do two size 10 strings and then one thread uh, like this here. Then for a Toronto Grande, I would do uh, three size 10s and then one or two threads, I can't remember. So I just sort of eyeball it, make sure the tension's the same in that thread to the other two strings, and just tie a loop in the end, and uh, set it on there, and you're ready to twist. This drill isn't the fastest, it uh, only spins like 1400 RPM, so I sped this up a bit. Uh, does the job though. Um, I guess you don't have to let it sag like this. It doesn't seem to matter whether you keep it taut or let it sag, but if you let it sag and then once it gets taut, it tells you to scoot forward. So right about there is, I think, 18 foot six. Shrunk four feet. I'm going to go check my mark there. There it is. <laughs> and uh, so you can barely see it, but the yellow is just past that mark on the right, so we're good. Uh, you use the drill as a anchor. Keep tension on the string. You throw the string over the top hook, and then loop it uh, in that chain link. And be careful when you get it off the drill. If you uh, let go, you're kind of SOL. Then wrap it over the top. I just wrap it over, under, and around. And you see there, I've got a good extra foot of string there, but uh, that's okay. And then use the alligator clips. Then you let the bearing swivel do its work. Just keep a little tension on it. A regular swivel will work. It just sort of locks up if you put any tension on it. Uh, I guess you don't really need a swivel. You can just let the uh, chain link or whatever you got just hang. And then run your fingers down it, make sure everything's squeaky smooth. <laughs> and there you have it. Tie a knot in either end, you're ready to spin a top. 